Thailand gears up to welcome international tourists from the 1st of July onwards. We are planning to open a part of the country, you know, we call it, you know, city by city, you know, starting from, from July the 1st in Phuket. Those who, who fully vaccinated, those tourists who are fully vaccinated can come without quarantine and they can stay in Phuket you know, seven days or more or, or over and after seven days they can go explore the rest of the country. ADTOI offers reimbursement for COVID vaccination. So we are trying to organize camps by having tie-up with hospitals for COVID-19 vaccines for our honorable members on a pan-India basis at a very special rate. To alleviate the financial burden on the members of ad i management has decided to give a subsidy to all primary members of the association by reimbursing them 50% against the spent by the members on getting vaccinated first shot or second shot or both to a maximum limit of rupees 600. ICA sees India as an important source market for upcoming events in the Middle East. India has seen uh, a lot of uh, standstill moments, uh, but uh, we have always bounced back much quicker than what we expect. And I think uh, India will also bounce back uh, with Dubai's expo coming up. Uh, India is a big market. Uh, we are hoping a lot of Indians to come to the UAE and um, um, you know all the restrictions will, will, will be laid off. Uh, hopefully in the coming months. It's a second populated country so we can't ignore the population over there and uh, we are having a huge expectations from India for the success of uh, uh, the travel industry to stand up again. UK Heathrow Airport opens a dedicated new terminal for red list countries including India. Netherlands lifts ban on passenger flights from India. West Coast Canal in Kerala to be made tourism water highway.